Howdy folks, let's do some limbering up with our metacarpals and our phalanges and all the good stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse the mess as usual, guys. Howdy folks, it's Brainstorm coming at you live. I don't do these lives very often, but I am wearing the Share the Positive shirt today, and I've got the Share the Positive Brainstorm mug here. It's supposed to say Share the Positive at the bottom, but... Don't worry, it's just, I'm not sure what it is. No, it's um, sweet tea, I think, yeah. Anyway, good old Southern boy likes a sweet tea. I thought we'd have a brainstorming session today. A little chat, as it were. You and me, all of us together here. I had some time, it's sunshine and outside, pouring through the window and there's nothing, no better lighting than sunshine. The gods. Perfect lighting. Nobody's perfect, but man, I look out there and I smell when I'm out there anyway. I smell that grass that's just been cut the other day. And I look and see that sunshine blowing out there, and it's just a wonderful day indeed. I share the positive moment. I'm going to share with that with y'all. I thought we'd do a few things today. I got a couple of things in mind just to pass the time. We'll see how far it goes, and we'll see who might want to join us. So I'll put it out there on the stream yard, the little link um, in the chat here. If you want to join me in the stream yard chat, I'll pull you in. We'll, we'll do some cheat chatting. So who knows? You know, these live streams are not perfect as well, but uh, they're fun. I haven't done one in a while. I threw on the share the positive shirt and I said, you know what? I've got some time before I got to go to work and the house is quiet. And why not? We'll just chit chat and do some stuff that I've been holding back. So I got this Vlogger Pro Kit. From, I got this for uh, recently as a present for my birthday. Yeah, turned um, not quite 50. Not yet. I'm not there yet, guys. But I, I'm grateful, God, for all the blessings. May all blessings flow. And I'm grateful to see another year. Especially this past year has been crazy. But, got this Vlogger Pro Kit for Christmas. Or well, not Christmas. I just said I got it for my birthday. But anyway, I haven't opened it yet. I've been saving it open it with y'all. Why not do an unboxing live? And it comes with a few accessories. Well, we'll do that in a little while. Also got something I want. I've been waiting to try. Who doesn't love Peeps? My brother got me these. They're Hot Tamales Peeps. Get fired up with the cinnamon flavor of hot tamales and peeps marshmallow. Two classic candies come together in one sweet and spicy treat. Express your peepsonality. Uh, Dixie Cuddles and Lane tried these, and I ever since then, I'm like, mm, I want to try those. And then my brother got some for me out of the blue. And so, you know, peeps, really good stuff. Who doesn't like peeps? Who doesn't like sugary? Marshmallow goodness. I I know I do. You know, y'all know me. You know I like to eat. And yeah, hey these cuddles. I wanna. I I was just talking about you. Was your ears burning? Look, I got some hot tamale peeps, inspired by you. My brother got me these actually, unbeknownst to me, desiring to eat them. So I'm very. Very excited to try these, but I will try these in a little while. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Hope the sun is shining outside where you are as well. All right. Your your channel is very excitingly growing as well. And there's a lot of positive things going on in your channel. And I really appreciate it. I watch a lot of your videos. And I just get so tired after... Um, Watching them, I mean, you wear me out just watching how much you work out. You, you you have to be super fit to work out as hard as you do. But uh, I guess that's what it takes, right? Uh, to get fit, you got to work fit. But I'm glad you stopped being. I appreciate it. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. What's going on these days? I want this. You know, the shorts kick. Everybody's doing these shorts these days. And I finally got, the other day, probably for a lot of people did, 
um, on the phone to the, let's see, the shorts beta tool that's been rolling out in America. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, Dixie. Um, it does take time and practice. I know it does. I, I don't often have the time because I'm always busy, but who isn't? Who isn't busy? Everybody's got their own work-related, home-related, family-related things going on. So we all make excuses saying we're busy. But, um, yeah, I know I need to exercise more and eat better. And you've been encouraging me to do that. I'm certainly not going to do that with these peats, but I think that'll be okay. Maybe just one time. Right? Just one time. I've been thinking about doing that, too. Doing some things, you know, maybe taking 30 days, like just swear off any kind of soda, carbonated beverage for 30 days. I've done that before, sort of like a fasting, um, and it, it did well. I did well with it. It was very difficult, but I know we can do it. And I appreciate you encouraging me, too. I've told you this many times, and I'll really say it again. You have always been encouraging to me, and I hope you sh continue to share the positive with me as we um, keep going in the year 2021. I am excited to um, keep going on and doing the best we can. It is very disheartening sometimes, and you know as well as I do, anybody who's a content creator on um, YouTube, it can get disheartening. I mean, I've, even as this past week, got really, really seriously thought about, I just want to take a pause. I just want to hit a pause. I just want to slow down and take a break and just not have to worry about it or not think about it. But it's and more than it is work. It is definitely work. YouTube, if you're considering doing YouTube, even for fun, even for a very like sparse kind of uploading schedule, it is definitely work. And uh, you're going to have to be aware of that, I think. Let me tell you that right now. Um, it's going to take time, even if it's fun for you and hobby. Uh, it's going to feel like a chore at times, and you're going to get disheartened when you feel like nobody's watching, nobody's commenting, nobody's, you know, does anybody care? But they do, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, whether they're laughing at you or they're laughing with you, at least they're laughing, right? That's what I like to say. And I believe that. I really do. I like to engage with people. So whether it's a negative comment or a semi-negative comment or a positive comment, you know, feedback is the breakfast of champions. And uh, ooh, we just got a new subscriber. Adam Zappa, Zappa Costa. I'm sure I said that name wrong. That's pretty cool. If you want to join us, Adam, uh, in the chat. I like StreamYard. I think it's pretty cool because you can have people come in and, you know, join us. I think you... Any, it is work. It definitely is work, Dixie Cuddles. Uh, but it becomes part of your life. You know, it's like anything. You know, you got to establish healthy habits. Um, whether they be at home, with your family, personal, whatever you're doing. But I was talking about um, good old YouTube. Look, somebody is doing an unboxing. I wonder who that is. Yeah, exciting, right? Um, you know, you got this little, um, plus button down here. <laughs> My cat video about Grayson's one eye had someone reach out for advice and help. You know, you never know who you connect with. And honestly, I, I've said this many times too. This part of YouTube is something you don't realize is that connecting with other content creators like yourself, other small-time YouTubers, other medium-sized YouTubers, whatever, they, connecting with other content creators is the best part of YouTube. It's meeting people you would never meet otherwise. Um, engaging with people and a community of people that you would never with otherwise. So outside of YouTube, you just make a universe of friends online, of course, which is nothing new in this day, this modern WWW web browser age, but Within YouTube community, it's so cool to be able to engage with content creators and uh, learn, help them, encourage them, encourage yourself. And sometimes, you know, when I get discouraged, 
when I get disheartened, when I feel like nobody's caring, nobody's listening, I like to go and just walk. I, I, like I did recently, I just say, you know what? Forget Brainstorm. Forget Chris Bryant. Okay? I'm going to go look at some other people's content. I want to go and some of my favorite YouTubers. And they're not million subscriber YouTubers. These are people like me, people like Elaine and Dixie Cuddles Fitness, people like Crafty Crow Show and Jason Mann's Ventures, um, you know, like the Two Fluffy Bearded Men and Randy and Vaughn and all. And I know I'm forgetting a lot of people. Um, badass videos of pure awesomeness, Nathan, um, Courtney Collins in the Collins Country. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch of people. And I do apologize. I don't mean to forget anybody, but there's a lot of cool YouTubers out there that I've engaged with through my YouTube growth support Facebook group. You should go check that out. I'll try to leave the link in the content in the description below later on this post. That if you want to go check out the Facebook YouTube support group that I'm administering, um, you would find a lot of awesome content creators there. And, I, and I, it's like I tell, like I tell um, the folks in that group, you have to engage positively with one another, but you also need to really give more than you ask for. So in this YouTube world, you want subscriptions, you want engagement, you want people to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. But it boggles my mind. And I don't like being negative, and I'm not trying to be negative. This is, this is an encouraging, positive you know, piece of information I want to share that it seems like a no-brainer to me. If you want people to do all that for you, but you're not willing to do that for them, you're not willing to, and I'm not talking about sub for sub. Sub for sub is the worst kind of thing, really. It sounds kind of innocent and benign. And it seems like it. And if you get a genuine person, and it can be positive, I suppose, but it's not really a good thing. And it's also against YouTube policies, which can really hurt you in your monetization goals if you do that excessively. So I, I would say stay away from Supper Sub. That's my best advice for you there. But also, also, what I'm getting back to a roundabout way, encourage you to, uh, something popping up, encouraging you to um, just engage with one another positively. So if you want someone to subscribe to you, you want them to give your channel a chance, you, you see they're a content creator too, Go give them a chance. Go give them a subscription if you like their content. Um, follow them. Ring that bell. Subscribe. Comment. Encourage them. Because as much as you need encouragement, as much as you desire subscriptions, encouragement, comments, likes, shares, all that good stuff that we ask for in these, these videos that we make, they wish the same. We are all in this together. We are all on the same road. And I see these posts on Facebook or these posts and people are like, they say that, like, I'm a scrub. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. Hey, guys, here's a newsflash. We are all trying to get to a thousand subscribers, whether we admit it or not, maybe. We are all trying to get, in some way, successfully monetized, or even if we're doing this for fun, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to be monetized if they're a content creator? They may not have that there as their surmounting hugest goal in their life, but of course they would like who would you know we would like to share our content if we're out if we're doing this we'd like to share our content with you and a bunch of some other people that might like it so i try to encourage others to subscribe and comment on other people not just for me uh, and let me invite you to look down on your right make that red button gray if you make my day um anyway but you have to to engage positively in a 100% honest and true fashion. You know, sub or sub can be bad because people get your sub and then they unsub to you or YouTube takes it away because they're not really, you know, you got to watch somebody's video for a good minute or so, I think. You know, 30 seconds they say is a view, but if you need, if you don't watch somebody's video and then subscribe, then YouTube can often take it away. And that's, that's very disheartening. They are always monkeying around with the likes. These days, it's the likes, you know, are disappearing for some reason. The views sometimes can get diminished because they're not accurate, or or, or YouTube views them as inaccurate views, or 
subscriptions get taken away. Um, I think that when you reach a certain threshold, like if you have a, a ton of new subscribers all at once, you, it kind of triggers an alert to YouTube and goes, hey, let's check this out. Let's see if they're genuine. And that's why you lose a lot of them. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. So I would love to, to, to hear what y'all think about uh, what the best practices are on how to encourage one another and engage with one another. Um, YouTube support communities and uh, 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 growth support communities or just sub support communities, even sub support. You know, as long as you're genuine, honest, and true, and I'm not bragging, I'm not. And I've said this many times, but if I've subscribed to you, I never unsubscribe. I have never once unsubscribed to anybody that I have subscribed to. Now, people might have lost my subscription because YouTube's monkeying around with it, but I make a promise to people that if I like your content, I look, I go to your channel and I make the effort to subscribe to your channel, to follow your channel, that I'm going to keep doing that. And I might not always watch every video. Who can do that? I might not watch and comment on everything possible because who can do that, really? Especially if you're a content creator and you're trying to put out your own and keep track of all this life that we're living but um, I do my best, and uh, you know it. I hope you know it. And uh, it's not a brag. It's not a thing I'm trying to pat myself on the back with. I'm just trying to share the positive. And that's a decision I made early on. When I, when I started this YouTube journey, I, I kind of came up with some goals, personal goals, and also some kind of rules, some steadfast things I would like to hold true to. And I want to be positive. That's one of the things. I want to, I want to again, God we trust. God is an important part of my my faith, my journey in life, and I want him to be part of my YouTube channel. And maybe to some extent he's gotten not as prominent as he should be. And thank you, Lord, for all the many blessings you give us. Amen. Um, but he definitely is a part of my heart, a part of my life, and I hope he comes out in my content as well. Um, there's a lot of things that I just keep in mind when I'm doing content, when I'm sharing with others. And just some personal things, you know. So it's good to have these goals and these kind of like mindset of this is what I'd like to do. This is who I'd like to be. You know, I'm not one particular niche. I'm not like just a food review channel. I'm not just a food challenge channel. I'm not just a crazy nut channel or a blogger or whatever. I don't you know. I don't pit myself into one niche, I don't think. And, I, and people think that's super important. But I like to call myself a creative distraction channel want to creatively distract you from the craziness of the world in a positive way. Whether it's laughing at me or with me, whether it's, hey, you know, that's interesting. I've never tried that piece of food at, or that, that restaurant out, and uh, that looks interesting. I want to try that out. But whether it's just, you know, just something fun and humorous that you can forget about your stress or forget about the world for for just like 30 seconds. Um, that's they, they distract me, you know, making these videos. It distracts me in a creative manner. It helps, helps me keep my creative juices flowing. So that's what the YouTube is all about for me, is to keep me feeling creative. I'm, you know, I have an English degree. I'm a, I have an English degree, and I'm a very typey, writey, thinky, silly person, and I'm um, often lost in, my, lost in my imagination. So YouTube has become an outlet for me to stay creative in a way, sort of like a almost a lazy way because video to me is a lot easier than writing a story or writing a book. And I have written a book. I have finished a book. It, it, it list, you know, I've done some things over the years for writing successfully. And I, I've shared some of that with y'all. And hopefully maybe in the future I can share excerpts from my book with y'all and see what y'all think about that. Maybe we'll do that too. But um, who knows, you know? Because me sitting here reading probably might seem boring. I like to stay rambling and engaged. You know me, guys. I like to talk. Um, I would like to invite you to support the channel. I have started a Buy Me a Coffee patron area on buymeacoffee.com. So if you'd like to, so to, to support this channel towards a donation of a cold drink, I'm not a big coffee drinker. I have tried a lot of coffees lately. Some cold coffees, anyway. I'm not a big hot coffee drinker, anyway. 
I'm not a huge lover of coffee. I do like the way coffee smells, and and I've never just really gotten into coffee. My parents were not huge coffee drinkers either, so that probably helped. helped uh, I don't know, whatever. I, I like caffeine, though. That's my thing. I can drink some soda all day long. That's what wakes me up in the morning, and that's what's going to get me going, you know. But anyway, but if you'd like to drop, to make a donation and buy me a cold drink, I'd love it, guys. I'd appreciate it immensely because um, um, I will do a video. I'm trying to do a video in your honor. So anybody who donates whatever amount, $5, a dollar, $10, whatever you donate at buymeacoffee.com slash brainstorm, and you, uh, I will try to make a video in your honor. I will share a beverage in your honor and make a video unique to thank you and uh for your support and whatever's left eventually i hopefully hopefully i do i have been blessed over the years you know i've got a few cameras here and there uh, randy yvonne gave me uh, um a gopro then uh, unfortunately the gopro guys has it was an older gopro and it was so nice of them to give it to me you can go and see that unboxing video when they sent it to me last year it has really gone the way of the ghost i cannot i cannot get it to work anymore um so you know, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not doing too bad. I got a, my phone here and I do, um, do what I can on my phone. I, and, and it's pretty handy to have around, to have a, the camera with you at, in your pocket, just ready to go at a moment's notice. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, all you need is a phone and a Google account to be a YouTuber, guys. If you didn't know that, that's all you need. Because you can make videos, upload them directly. And you got to have a Google account to uh, have a YouTube channel. And that's all you really need to be a YouTuber, guys. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need anything fancy. You know, you don't have to have the greatest personality, but it does help. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you would like to support me, I would really appreciate it. Um, I had a, some donations um, over the last several months, and it's really cool. But I'm hoping what I'm getting at is I'm hoping to get a new camera. A really nice camera uh, eventually and uh, we'll see how that goes who knows um, so if you'd like to support me with a, a donation to a cold drink I'll share a cold drink in your honor and hopefully whatever's left I will be able to get an, uh, a camera whatever I can to support this creative endeavor, endeavor of mine here on YouTube and it's awesome I'm having fun at it so uh, yeah I mean it's so I'm like, everybody asks for donations. Everybody comes there with their hat in their hand, you know, but it does help. It, it's also a huge encouragement to know that people are kind and care enough to, to help you out and donate towards your your YouTube journey. And that's my favorite way of putting it, YouTube journey, because it is a journey. I don't know that it has a destination in mind necessarily, but it is definitely a journey, one where a lot of us are on to... Uh, one extent or the other. All right. I've talked about a lot of different things. That's what happens during these live streams. People tend to ramble. Um, but I'm also on this road to 1,000 subscribers, guys. It has begun. A lot of a lot of my friends and family or whatnot say, "Man, May 31st. That is a." Very coming up really fast. That's not a long enough time. To me, this is like you have to have a mindset towards this goal. If you set it, you dream it, and you believe it, and you may achieve it. Yet, if I don't, that's fine. But if I don't push myself to work towards a goal, a central theme of what I'm doing right now, I'm, gonna, I'm not saying I want to get monetized by May 31st. That is not my goal. It's watch time hours. Is another huge hurdle. That's what these lives do, don't they? They help with watch time, hopefully. But what I'm trying to do my May 31st of 2021 is to get a thousand subscribers. I'm at like 688, 689, something like that. So I need, you know, 311 or so subscribers, and that's going to be a tough road to hoe in a month and a half. But you know, it it is possible with God. Anything is possible. If it's, if it's his will to be done, it will be done in spectacular fashion, in whatever fashion. If it's not his will or if it's not meant to be by May 31st, 
that's fine too. If it happens by the end of this year, if it doesn't, that's fine too. I've lost nothing, but I won't gain anything either if I don't try, if I don't have this goal, if I don't have this mindset. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Help me out in that goal. I really appreciate it. Um, I think it's, it's it's been help energizing me and giving me a focal point to work towards. You know, in the month of February, we did this Share the Positive, where I posted every day. And Steven at the Crafty Crow Show, and Kid Savage, and Dixie Cuddles, they joined it, went in with me, and they got t-shirts like this, Share the Positive shirts as well. You can go check out their channels and see their shirts that I sent them. But um, in, in February, we did the Share the Positive month, and it was very encouraging. I want to do that again some point this year. Before this year is over, maybe November, maybe December, I don't know. I want to do the Share the Positive month, where we post every day a Share the Positive type message. So all my videos, all my content, I'm trying to share the positive. I'm trying to do what I can. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't have my comments up. Thank you very much for coming in and uh, wishing me good luck. I miss seeing your content as well. <laughs> um, I I know life is crazy and busy, but I appreciate you stopping in. Uh, Phil Gibson, all right, man. I love your channel as well. I'm glad you're getting back into your channel. Thank you. I appreciate that comment. That's really nice. What blows my turbo? He's also part of that. And that's an awesome show, uh, channel as well. But um, that's so a lot of fun, family. Very cool. I try. I do try. My kids are like, you're not very positive in real life, Dad. Because they bear the brunt of my dad anger and ire most of the time. But that's life too, right? Can't be <coughs> one or the other. Uh, but in my internet life, in my in my fake persona as one of my teenagers tells me um, online, this is it's like wrestling. This is me, but it's maybe turned up a notch or two. You know, I realized early on that my best, perhaps, in my opinion, my best skill, my best weapon, my best whatever you want to call it in YouTube would be my editing skills or my camera presence, but or my good looks. But it would be my crazy, just don't care personality. Uh, I like to talk, and that's important. Because if I just sit here and not talking, I thought, you know, I want to do a live stream one day where I don't talk, but I'm still trying to engage with y'all. Maybe that's an idea. Um, but, uh, <laughs> see, you get me off in a different direction. Oh, I'll do that to myself. But uh, I do appreciate the positive feedback that I get, even the negative feedback, because feedback is a breakfast of champions. But uh, I try to be positive. I try to be this guy turned up a notch. And uh, it's, you know, you get frustrated. Everybody gets frustrated. Everybody gets um, tired and burned out, especially at work. I work a lot. I work six days a week, guys. Um, and one of my things is I don't talk about my job because that's my job and it stays over there. Um, and you notice a lot of people on YouTube don't really talk about their jobs. And that's fine, too, because it doesn't really matter. Um, some people know where I work, and that's fine, too. That's not something I, just, I don't care to talk discuss. It's not that I hate my job. I love my job. I love what I do. Um, but it's a job, you know. It's what I go pay the bills. Um, but it's another one of my rules. It's not, it's not going to involve my job in YouTube. I'm not. Um, oh, I'm kind of excited about this. So let's just get into this. Vlogger Pro Kit. Well, you know, before we do that, actually, let's try these. Because I'm actually very, I've been holding these a long time. These hot tamales peaks. I've been holding on these a long time. They want to try these. So I was like, during my next, during my next live, I'll, I'll try these. That was one of those things that I've been waiting to do. Mm. All right, hot 
just want a piece. Get it that way. They fell out of my camp. keyboard. That's alright. There's a lot of crumbs on that keyboard already. <laughs> Beep, 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 cheap, cheap, cheap. I like hot tamales. They're my favorite foods. When every time I go to the movies, I get a cherry Coke and hot tamales. And what I started to do years ago is take that big cherry Coke, pour the hot tamales inside that cherry Coke, let them all settle down to the bottom. And during the movies, eat your popcorn, drink your cherry Coke. And all that cinnamon flavor from the hot tamales mixes with that cherry syrup. So good. You just don't know, guys. If you like hot tamales and cherry coke, you should try that one day in movies. And by, you know, you kind of like when you drink and you eat your ice and it's all gone. But then by that time, I eat all the ice. Drink the drink. There's still that yummy, gooey candy at the bottom. By this time, all that stuff is like, it's crystal clear. The little candies, all the flavoring has come off of it, and you've drunk it or whatever through the syrup, you know, through the drink. But then the candy is still in the bottom. Well, you eat that candy, and it's so gummy, so just tasty. Pure sugar. Oh, it's good stuff. So, hot tamales. Well, that's a little, that little dusting of a hot tamale. Tastes just like the movies to me because that's hot tamales all day long. I love hot tamales, but I only get them when I go to the movies. Mm. Look at that little pee pee. Little pee pee little eyes. Hot tamale peeps, guys. Give it a try. What's still in my hair? By the way, the beard is gone, but it'll come back soon. I'm doing something today, I'm recording a video today, special, that needed my beard to be gone. So y'all look out for that video. I like that. Hot tamale peeps. I'm going to save some for the fam to try. I'm going to be greedy and eat all that. Uh, no. Hot tamales. You every now and then you'll get a hot tamale that's really hot. Like you can get one that's kind of spicy when you have the candy. It maybe has an extra concentration of whatever they put on it. But no, they're not hot. Not to me. They're just really kind of flavorful. The when that candy mixes with the cherry syrup though, I don't know what it does. It just makes it taste so good to me. You know, I have a habit, and this was born out of desperation. You know, I'd go to the movies with my brother, he's a lot older than me. We would buy some popcorn. He'd buy a bunch of candy. Whatever. We would pour the candy, like the chocolate candy, like M&M's or Bunch Crunch or whatever, in the popcorn. Just dump it in the popcorn, mix it up. And I would pour my candy in my drink. But we didn't, you know, he was that way. I didn't have to share my hot tamales with him because they were in my drink and he wouldn't get none out of that. But he would pour, we would pour candy in the popcorn and we would share the popcorn. And so when you get a handful of, you know, that salty, buttery, crunchy goodness, there'd be some chocolatey goodness in there with it. Sort of like a trail mix. Sort of like, you know, do-it-yourself mix there. And it was really good because you'd get some of that salty, buttery stuff with some chocolate at the same time, that crunch. Oh, it was good. And uh, that was the way we did that. You know, it was kind of like an underhanded little brother way of getting his candy and popcorn without having to share mine. That's where it sort of started, but don't tell him I said that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for movies, you know, you just kind of like, that way you don't have to do nothing but really share the popcorn back and forth. And uh, you don't have to get candy or popcorn and kind of put it together. It's all there, you know, mixed together. Well, that uh, hot tamales was pretty good. I like that with peeps. I'm going to have to uh, eat one more.
Let me see one more. Look at that. These are not hot at all, but they'll definitely have that hot tamale flavor. Woo! Okay. I'm going to keep y'all too much longer. I got this little lager kit thing that came. It's a Bauer versatile lager gear bag. So, theoretically, this bag would hold this stuff. One would think so because they came, they were like right next to each other in the same brand name. So, we'll see. So, we're going to uh, go ahead and unbox that. This is the Bauer Bristol Vlogger gear bag. I think you can get these at McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, you can get these at McDonald's. No, you can get these at Walmart. I don't think there's anything fancy in here. Other than, uh, so this is not really, it's an unzipping, not an unboxing. But there we go. Got a piece of cardboard that we don't need. And there's one of these little silica gel throwaway, do not eat. This seriously, do not eat. This, is this a problem in America? You know, we want to eat stuff, but we find in things like this. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure. I'm not used a kit like this, so I'm excited. So how, how is it? Is it a good kit to have for your vlogging? Um, the bag was, you know, adjacent to the, the kit, I believe. And so my darling wife who bought me the kit also got me the bag. So I'm, I'm assuming that one goes with the other. We'll see. It makes sense, right? The things that make sense don't often actually make sense in life, I think. Running out of room on this messy table. Yeah, so this is, I don't even know how much it was, but um, um, Vlogger Pro Kit Ultimate Smartphone Vlogging Setup. So I'm using You Are a Creator. That's good to know, right? The Bauer Vlogger Pro Kit is the ultimate vlogging setup for your smartphone. They would say that, right? About their product. They're going to be positive. This kit is specially designed to be used by anyone. That's good. With this kit, you can easily attach the microphone and LED. I'm looking forward to that because I don't have an outside microphone for my phone. Microphone and LED video light on any of the three cold shoe mounts of the smartphone rig. And also stabilize and light your videos and pictures so you can shoot anywhere, anytime with all of you. It's good to have it in the bag. I hopefully it does fit in all the bag because I'm I'm really about running and gunning, you know, gorilla style. Let's make this. I got I got ten minutes. Let's make a video, <laughs> and that's how you got to do it. Sometimes you got to find that time. It has a, a fifty LED light, which is high powered fifty LEDs. So that's gonna be good. I can I don't do a lot of night not night uh, low light stuff because you know I can't super thin and lightweight. Has an HD microphone that's also lightweight and shock resistant. Has a windscreen and wind off. Uh, and the smartphone rig is ideal for recording high quality videos. Yeah, you can do it, you know, vertical style like you would on your uh, shorts. If you haven't done, I, I got off of the subject of shorts. But if you haven't um, jumped into the shorts swimming pool, you should definitely do that. They're really great for views and getting eyeballs to your channel. Um, you got to kind of find your groove with the shorts and see what works. Throw a lot of that spaghetti on the wall and see what sticks. But, you know, they're easy. They're kind of like, you just do short and see if it works. And you can get some views out of it, possible, possible subscriptions, and that's really handy to have. Um, just getting people to, to your channel that might not otherwise do that. But you got, they got to be less than 60 seconds. They got to be vertical. That's why shooting with your phone is kind of easy. And if you got, you should check your YouTube channel and hit that little plus button and see if you've got the shorts beta tool. And 
it only the short spader tools if you're a TikTok user it's much like the TikTok I do have a TikTok account by the way check it out brainstorm 321 on TikTok um, it's much like the TikTok tool but it's because you, it does have a library of music you can use um, it only lets you use 15 seconds though of that audio it only lets you use 15 seconds of that audio and it only lets you do I've never used the tool on TikTok to make a short I've always kind of just uploaded my own less than 50 second shorts that I kind of edit on the fly on my edit on editing software on my phone but um I'm doing these series of creative distractions I'm thinking about to seven where just like sometimes you're inspired like oh look that looks interesting let's do a short on that and I see, you know, you get views, you get subs, you, or you don't. That's fine. Um, but at least creative instructions are 15 seconds long. It's sort of the shorts in themselves. Less than 60 seconds is a challenge. You try to do something creative, try to impart some knowledge or share some positivity or a laugh in that short of time. But imagine 15 seconds trying to do something in 15 seconds. But a lot of people are like, we're consumers. We're like, we're fast consumers. We're going to swipe, 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 swipe. We're going to ingest all that content really fast and so some of them are the, the 15 second ones from using the entirely just the short spin tool has been successful some of them haven't you know but it's worth it. it's not it doesn't take that much time you know it doesn't really that take that much time you can do it really quickly and um so definitely work on shorts guys you have to put shorts if you're doing them outside the beta tool even in, with the beta tool, i don't think it's even important to put the hashtag shorts anymore but it be, better safe than sorry but you have to put that hashtag shorts in the description or title i'd usually use both um don't worry about thumbnails because the short shelf if, if it if it arrives to the short shelf they're going to pick some random video or some random part of your video and they're going to use that it's not sometimes you're lucky and you get a good one that ends up being your short shelf thumbnail you can pick out like you can go in and edit and pick out the choices you can even upload a, your own thumbnail for a short, but it's really not worth your time to do that because um, the only people that will see that that thumbnail you make will be from your from your channel directly or, you know, from Facebook or wherever you might post it. But otherwise, on the short shelf, which you're going to get most of your views, you're not going to, your thumbnail's not going to be any good. But um, definitely worth your while doing the shorts and the Shorts beta tool is rolling out to more and more people um, in America, in the USA. So, so definitely um, give those a try. Oh, yeah, I already did that. So, let's get back to this kit. Uh, you see how I get distracted. So... What I like about we have filters, several different filters. I got a white ooh, my sunlight is going away from me. A white, uh, a blue, and a red filter. So we're gonna put those filters in this little pouchy thingy in the front here. I'm all about mobility, so I'm excited about that. So we have the rig, as they call it, the little rig. I like the idea that you can use it, you know, when you do a regular size videos, and you can do it when you're doing vertical videos. I really like that. Let's see. Yeah, as I suspected, it's a little tight. Look at that. It's a little tight in there. Let's see if we can put it through. And I don't think this shrinks anymore. This is probably the size. And it is definitely not going to fit. So don't get that bag. I wasn't sure that it would anyway. And we could probably make it fit. Let's we'll see if we can make it fit. It's like very rare, barely, barely not hitting. Oh, yeah, got it. So, you think that they would want to um, 
Let's see if it'll shut. I think that they want to make sure. Yeah, kind of keeps it rigid. So it did fit. I did make it fit. I don't think it's meant to fit very well. So that's in there. We have our little thingamajigger that goes with the uh, the lights. I'm sure. Got the little LED lights. I'm gonna peel that cover off. To get the cover off. I'm not sure what that was about. Okay, we'll move on from that. But got the little LED lights. I like this idea. Uh, got a little battery for this remote. I like the remote idea because then I can do things. I'm like a one man band sometimes. Check this up. Can I get it back on? Um, yeah, you know. You kind of like, I'm, I'm long since, in every aspect of things that I do, there we go. I've um, learned how to do things on the fly by myself. You know. The little filters. The little filters are also used to help diffuse the light. So it's not so harsh a light, and the closer you get to the light, the softer the light seems. That's pretty cool information. I'm glad to know that. Thank you, Philip. Philip is got is a good photographer. He has a really good setup and gear, and you should definitely go check out Philip Gibson Photography. Uh, whenever you get his hands. So you got the little, the little light rig, and this little doodad that goes on the light rig comes with instructions. And I'm not the manly man that doesn't believe in construct instructions. So if I need to ask for directions, I'm going to stop and ask for directions. If I need to read the instructions, I want to read the instructions. And I, <laughs> that reminds me of Matthew Finley. Not for any particular reason, Matthew, but other, other than that uh, you're always amusing. And uh, you always get the sense that Matthew's not reading the instructions, but he is. Look at his latest video. He's reading the instructions. Don't let him fool you. But then we got the microphone. That is super cool. I, I'm looking forward to using that. So let's see how it goes in there. So far, so good. It's in there. And then a little battery that goes on something. So I'm sure it's a round battery. So it's probably, yep, that's the microphone. See, sometimes logic can help you out. I'm going to break this probably. I'm not careful. I just freaked out just now because I think I broke it. No, uh, the battery. Oh, it's in there right because the light's coming on. All right. The battery is in the microphone. And it lights up. So we know we got the battery in there right. That's good. It has its own battery source. That's exciting. I mean, I can use it wherever I need it. So in the future, I will definitely do a video soon just to try this out. I'll read up on the instructions. And um, I'll definitely use this in a future vlogging ex uh, export. And a lot of times, hopefully, with my um, maybe my one-minute shorts that I do, these food reviews where I'm like trying to down this food in a minute and they come in handy uh, especially in low light situations I'm excited about that though I, I like the idea of diffusing the light in certain situations um because the light can be really bright and kind of like wash you out and you want to be able to do that in uh, whatever circumstance might warrant it 
but it'll be a lot of trial and error like anything else. And uh, so glad to. Uh, so glad to get this, and I really am appreciative. I don't have. It came with the smartphone rig, the microphone, the LED light, the fuser, wireless shutter remote. I have a small tripod, but it's not included apparently. Got enhance your social media posts for blogging, live videos, video chat, social media, and live streaming. So I'm excited about trying that out. I really appreciate y'all sticking around with me, uh, and have, hanging out with me, and we tried the hot tamale peeps as we unbox this awesome little setup here. And I'm excited to use it. I'm very excited to use it sometime in the future. Uh, maybe today when I do that little video I was talking about. Um, but the picture is pretty cool. It's kind of self-explanatory there and how the phone fits in there. I bet a lot of people have this rig because it's kind of like cheap and easy. It's not at Walmart. Cheap's relative, right? All right, I'm just like glad to be creative, glad to be posted, glad to be reasoned above ground, you know, um, mounts to your tripod, that's why, so a lot of fun family, thank you, I figured it did, um, I just have to find my tripod and, uh, try it out. <laughs> I think it's in my bag. I keep a work bag and I keep a lot of my stuff in there and this will fit in there nicely. Whew. Don't forget guys buymeacoffee.com slash brainstorm. I really appreciate any donation you might want to feel led to, to give. It would be a blessing indeed. Um, and don't forget I'm on this road to 1,000 subscribers um, by May 31st. And it, a lot of you have already subscribed to my channel, and that's, that's actually the best thing in the world. And I really appreciate that. Um, I've been doing this uh, since February 2019. So, that's a, that's a, it's a long road to 1,000 subscribers for anybody. Well, not for everybody. Sometimes people shoot, shoot up like a rocket overnight in a couple months in a week or whatever, but that's fine. You know, that's more power to them. I'm, I'm happy for them. Um, but <laughs> it's not that easy a road, and anybody who's a content creator knows this. Uh, but if I really appreciate everybody's support. I really appreciate everybody's love and comments and all the good stuff because it, it really means a lot. Uh, I mean, we say this ad nauseum. We ask for subscriptions, and we ask for people to like, comment, subscribe, and we ask for people to share. And we get all involved with that aspect, and we often forget there's a lot of other people out there. As I said, there's lots of other people out there who need, want, and really could use your support. Not just me, guys. Not just you, but a lot of other people out there. So don't forget that in your YouTube journey. Because your YouTube journey is not just a one-way street. It's a multi-avenue street with a lot of different twists and turns, a lot of different avenues and streets with a lot of different people that live in, out there on off the side roads on their own journey. Sometimes parallel to yours. Sometimes going on a different direction completely yours. And uh, so encourage yourself by encouraging others. Because that's the best way to do it, guys. I can't say that enough. That if you give more than you ask for, that's the golden rule, right? It's kind of broken down and paraphrased. But the golden rule, you know, treat others as you would have them treat you. As you, the good book says, would have them treat you. Now, if you want to treat, if you want them to treat you like dirt, if you want them to forget you, not give a crap, then that's you. That's that's what well, you treat them. But I doubt anybody's really like that. 
deep down. And so it makes perfect sense to me, anyway, at least I hope to you as well. If you want support, you got to give support. If you want to have friends, you got to be a friend. It sounds kind of corny, I know, but it's true. Some of the most truest things are super corny, like a good dad joke. It's the funniest thing you've ever heard in your life, but it's super corny. Um, so I got a lot of things going on. Like we say that before. there's a lot of exciting things going on in the channel, but you know what? I mean, there's a lot of ideas I have. And I hope to do. I've been posting a lot of shorts. I try to post every day, six days a week, except on Sunday. Sunday's the Lord's Day. Um, can't say I do a lot of positive things every day, but I try to do what I can to uh, keep my family going, keep my friends, loved ones, keep my job going, keep my life going. And I uh, try to share, engage with y'all wherever I can. And I appreciate that. Y'all also stay busy. And y'all also stay creatively active. And just whether it's one or two times a week or once a week or one time a month, stay engaged. Find a positive hobby or distraction. Uh, YouTube could be it. It may not be it. Sometimes people are just YouTubers. They're view tubers. They like to watch YouTube content, but they don't have any desire or maybe they fell away from that desire of creating YouTube content. That's fine because we need people to watch our content. We need YouTubers just as much as we need um, other content creators. So, you know, that's important too. So don't keep, keep that in mind. If you're a content creator, you got to be a content consumer as well. You need to be because you need to be out there engaged, encouraging, helping others as well, but also to find out what's going on in the world in the YouTube, to see what's hot, so to speak, or to see what's what might work for you better, or help your YouTube journey, to help your creativity and your ability to create positive, engaging, quality content the best you can. Without whatever resources you have, whatever whether it's just a phone, camera, or whether it's a whatever you have, whatever software you have. I have a laptop that's a very old laptop. It still has a CD drive. I have to plug it up to an Ethernet cable to get online. And uh, that Ethernet cable is long and winding and going plugged into the Wi-Fi. But I, I can't use Wi-Fi because it don't work. But uh, uh, the touchpad don't work. But I, it still works good enough, you know, and I have whatever software it came with. But, you know, you'd be surprised. I know I'm rambling a lot, but I use a lot of PowerPoint because I, over the years, have in school and in my work life, I use PowerPoint a lot. Publisher, a lot of the Microsoft Office software, a lot of my shorts videos, and a lot of my sideways content sometimes, I use PowerPoint. You can make a video in PowerPoint. I've made some hacks videos out of that idea and shared that with you how to do that in PowerPoint. And I'm going to make some more soon of how you can do a short in PowerPoint. So, yeah. Use whatever resources you have. It might sound backwards sometimes. PowerPoint? Make videos? Yeah, you can. <laughs> and you can do some really good stuff in PowerPoint. Um, kind of have to play with it and learn how to use it. It's like a lot of things. But I'm going to get some software eventually. So I'm going to be able to have those resources and be able to do that. And um, you know what? And the, that'll just help me create better content in the future. So get a better camera, get a better software, get a better computer. That'll be fine too. But these days, do, using what I have, it makes me, encourages me, it's like, hey, I can still make some pretty good videos with what I have. I have no excuses, really. And neither do you. So, y'all have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for letting me ramble on till I get to about an hour's worth. That's what That was the goal here. And then I got to start get ready for work and um, do what we can in the working world. So, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Again, y'all have a great day. Get out and enjoy the sunshine when you can, where you can. Enjoy, enjoy the rain, if that's what's out there. But just get out. Get some sun on your face and uh, some wind at your back. Share some positive in the world, and it will come back to you tenfold. Encourage one another and just bless one another, because God has blessed us. Y'all have a great day. See you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. God bless y'all.